Hello, Internet. So, yesterday was a bit of a cop-out, and obviously I didn't really say anything and kind of did my little pantomime thing for the birthday. Thank you for all the birthday wishes, by the way. I appreciate that. Um, so, Carrie had a video up about her massive purse that she could probably assault people with and all the diabetes stuff that she had. And actually, just a bunch of everything that she had in there, too. But, uh, and obviously, I don't have a man bag. I don't have a little, uh, you know, hip sack or anything like that to keep all my stuff in. So instead of doing that, I figured just go through what would generally be in my pockets during a given day. Some of it diabetes related, some of it isn't. Uh, start with the good stuff. Insulin pen. You've all heard about all this stuff before. What good is an insulin pen without an insulin pen needle? These are the minis, the small ones, so I can hit it in the stomach without a pinch. I can uh, hit it in the shoulder, which also works pretty well. Also. What good would a geek be without a cell phone? Me and my Blackberry, Curve, Verizon, you can hear me now, right? Uh, I'm addicted to this thing. It's pretty bad, actually, how, how often I'm checking my email or checking blog comments or checking Twitter or just, you know, whatever. It's, it's a sickness. I understand that, but I'm not going to change that anytime soon. Uh, iPod Touch. I guess I am one of those people. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's see this. I'm going to focus. Uh, you can't, actually I think you can a little bit. Trust me, there's a nice crack right by the main button. These things are very durable. I've dropped them plenty of times to know that uh, I probably should have had a little case for it, but um, so much for that. Uh, what's got here? Headphones. I'm not the most social butterfly when I'm out in public, so if I'm eating at a subway or something, I usually just pop these things in so I don't have to listen to all the conversations from, you know, prof business professionals talking about their mundane lives, just, you know, whatever. I try to listen to just some loud, angry music. Uh, most importantly, the wallet. Um, there's really nothing too good in here. Got a credit card. It's probably over limit. Got a check card that doesn't have access to any money because I'm spending it too much. Uh, got an ID. Got an appointment here for uh, for Dr. H. Got my endocrinologist appointment coming up soon. Should probably get that A1C worked on. Uh, the other thing I got here is a whole bunch of change. So here's my uh, one tip for all of you people. If you're going to be paying with cash, carry 80 cents with you, three quarters and five pennies. You can always make some kind of round number towards exact change. That way it'll make giving change back a lot easier. When I worked at Five Guys, it was a big pain in my butt to uh, try and deal out change and giving back 93 cents or something ridiculous like that. So if you can give out exact change and make the person on the register a lot happier. So that's my tip for you, Internet. Hopefully uh, this wasn't as boring as I think it is as I'm standing here looking at a camera, looking around in my basement. And I feel kind of feel kind of dumb. Hopefully I'll be able to do this again if I can build a little bit of confidence. So we'll see.